Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Aditya. And in this particular video, what we are going to do is we are going to build the KPI charts. So in our KPI chart, what we are going to show is like we are going to show our year to date sales versus the prior year to date. But the trick is like we are going to give the user the flexibility to select the particular date using a parameter. And according to the selected date, we are going to show the year to date and prior year to date in our KPI chart. So I hope you guys are excited by now. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and if you love watching me making the such videos so do subscribe it as it helped me a lot so see you in the get started so let us connect to a super studio data set first so just connect to a data set go to microsoft excel and go to your tableau repository and you can find a super studio data set there so just open that so once that is open like we'll be dealing with the order sheet so just left uh, like drag the order sheet to the right hand side to the canvas so once that is done we can just move on to a sheet one so in this particular case what we are going to do is we are going to create a calculation for year to date and prior year to date but according to the user selection right so the first of all like we need to do is like we need to create a calculation for selected date so the end user can select the date right so how to do that like we'll be creating a parameter so just rename it as selected date and we can just change the data type to date type and as if now we can just select the current date today's date click on ok and just show the parameter perfect so as if now as if now our parameter is not wired but before wiring it up like we need to do some calculations right so before moving on to calculation let me just create a table so we'll get a brief idea so so what we can do is we can just drag the order date to the row shelf and we can just do it the exact date so once that is done like we can just go and do it discrete field and so now all the order date is showing from 2020 to 2023 so now what we can do is we can just drag the sales to the tag shelf perfect so as if now like our latest date is 30th december 2023 right so what we are going to do is now we are going to create a calculation for year to date first so year to date sales okay so what we are going to give condition here is like if our year of order date is equal to year of our selected date that the user selection user is selecting right and one more condition we need to give is if our order date is less than or equal to the selected date right because we only want to show the year to date for the user selection right so that's why the second condition is there so now what we can do is uh, one simple thing we can do is like these two conditions we can wrap it inside a integer field so what will happen is like if this condition is true it will give one if this condition is not true it will give zero right and we can multiply it by the sales field so if this condition is true then it will be one and if it is one and into sales so it will provide the year to date sales right so just click on apply click on ok and you can just drag the year to date double click year to date sales so you can see all the values are coming out to be zero right but like year to date like it is like 16th of uh may right so if i go to 16th may of 2023 so it, our data should be there so you can see it is 16th may we have our data and it will be like from 1st of january i guess so just scroll a little bit up yeah it is starting from 1st january right so our year to date calculation is perfect so now what we can do is we can just duplicate this calculation and we can just click on edit and we can just make one more calculation for prior year to date sales so now we're just going to do a little tweak in our calculation so for a first condition like our year of order date is equal to year of order date minus one like one year prior to the year like 2023 then the prior year will be 2022 right and for the order date what we're going to do is it should go like one year back to the particular time period right so what we can do is we can use our date add function so what it will do is it will uh, add the dates like it will go to the particular timeline so just let me show you the tab to documentation so if i click on here and if i click on here so you can see adds an increment to the specified date and return a new date right so what we are going to do here is like a date add and we want to go here and we want to go one year back 
सो माइनस वन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू अ सेलेक्टेड डेट राइट सो जस्ट क्लोज द ब्रैकेट परफेक्ट सो इफ दीज टू कंडीशन आर ट्रू देन इट शुड प्रोवाइड द प्राइर टू डेट सो वन से क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई क्लिक ऑन ओके एंड डबल क्लिक ऑन इट सो यू कैन सी एज एफ नाउ इट इज नॉट शोइंग ओके दया इट इज अ प्रायर ईयर टू डेट इज मूव ऑन टू राइट एंड साइड सो कैन जस्ट ट्रैक दिस अप सो द प्रायर ईयर टू डेट लाइक इट विल बी लाइक इन द सेम टाइम लाइन लाइक इट विल बी लाइक सिक्सटीन ऑफ माई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू आर डेटा शुड बी देयर लाइक अ सिक्सटीन माई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री शुड भी कम्पेयर टू सिक्सटीन माई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट सो जस्ट को स्क्रॉल अप सो इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी करेक्ट एंड इट शुड भी टिल फर्स्ट जनवरी पफ सेकेंड जनवरी डेट इज इट इज देयर फॉर फर्स्ट जनवरी इट इज नॉट देयर परफेक्ट सो आर कैलकुलेशन इज वर्किंग फाइन सो दिस इज अ लॉजिक बिल्डिंग एक्टिविटी डेट वी हैव डन नाउ सो आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद डेट सो इफ यू एन सो इफ यू आर न्यू सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल एंड हैवन सब्सक्राइब इट एट सो डू सब्सक्राइब इट एज इट हेल्प मी आर लॉट सो लेट अस मूव फॉरवर्ड सो नाउ वील बी मूविंग फॉर आर के पी आई डिजाइन ओके बट बिफोर मूविंग टू के पी आई डिजाइन लेट मी जस्ट एड वन मोर शीट and but we are what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do year to date sales prior year to date sales and now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to create a percentage change prior year versus percentage percentage change year to date versus prior year to date right so what i can do is i can just sum of year to date minus sum of prior year to date and divided by sum of prior year to date so what it will do is it will give it as a percentage right year over year change it will give so once i click on apply click on okay and just click on the tax field drag it to tax field so it is coming out to 25% so what i can do is i can just go to format and we can just give it the percentage and we can just provide custom format so in this custom format what i am doing here is i am just giving plus 0.5% i am just copying it then i am giving colon and command v and minus so what it will happen is like if our percentage is coming to out to be negative then it will show negative and if it is coming out to be positive it will show positive if we don't get this formatting then it will show only the percentage it will not show whether it is positive or negative so for showing positive and negative percentage we need to change the format like this perfect so now our all the calculations are working fine right so now let us move on to our kpi design so what i am going to do here is i am just going to drag the sales to the row shelf and our order date to the column shelf and drag it to our exact date or what i can do is i just select to month because exact date will be more number it's like more data points so what i can do is i can just create one calculated field and i can just provide one date filter that will be like our user selection one so if our order date is equal to the selected date till that date we want to show the data points so click on apply click on okay and just give it to the filter shelf and select true and click on okay perfect okay yeah i have given one mistake i will just uh, edit this calculation so less than equal to like if i give equal to then it will show only one data point right okay perfect yeah so now it should be till my yeah it is now correct so now what i want to do is i want to show the kpis here right so what i can do is i can just drag all the kpis like change in prior year prior year to date year to date and drag it to detail shelf perfect so now what i can do is i can just change the color format first so just go to color and as if now what i can do is i can just give it as a this color uh so let's just let me check my color perfect so this color i am just giving as if now and we can just remove the title from the axis perfect click on cut so now what i'm going to do is uh, now i'm going to write the big kpi here so i can just go to kpi design and just remove the sheet and we can insert all our matrix that i've created aggregated one some of prior year to date says but i have been not dealing with this so 
enter and year to date sales okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to arrange it up uh, middle point and i can just command x command v versus prior year okay and i can just give it is some font like as if now i'm just giving it as geneva and for this i'm just giving it as a like the year to date one as a 20 number and for the down one percentage one i'm just giving as a 15th okay and for the year to date also i'm uh, like the percentage and the year to date sale i'm just bolding the point versus the other and click on apply click on okay so as if now you can see like our numbers are not showing correct right like it is showing the range and this is showing like minus one but it should be like our number should be like year to date should be 189 uh 3 to 3 and our percentage change should be 25.7 in percentage right so our so in our kpi card like it is not coming out to be correct so why it is so so as if now what we are doing is we are going we are showing the line graph so what it is taking is like it is taking the range of the values like like in this particular line graph each point shows one range right so for the year to date like it is taking all the points and it is showing us the range like from like 16th may 2025 uh, 2023 from sorry so from first january 2023 to 16th may 2023 it is showing us all the range values so that's why it is showing the range so for uh doing it correct what we can we have to do is we have to use the table calculations so we have to use one function that is known as total function to remove this issue so how to do that so what i can do is i can just click on this prior year to date and create a calculated field and just i can write for prior year to date i'm not showing so i'll just not do for that so for year to date i'm just creating a calculated field and i can just name it as total year to date sales so it will just uh, sum all the ones so i can use total function here inside it sum of year to date perfect click on apply click on ok and remove this remove this and just you can drag the total year to date one to the detail shelf and same thing we have to do for the percentage change so create a calculated field and just i can write the total percentage change and i can just use total function inside it since it is aggregate function so i will not use sum here so click on apply click on ok and drag the into detail shelf and in the calculation we can just change it so we can just add our So what I've done here is I just uh, just remove this and just also drag the total year to date sales also uh, by mistake I removed that so now what I'm could do, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to add total year to date sales and here I am going to add my total percentage change and I can just change the font color to the same color that I'm using here I can just change it to purple color and I can just bold this out and same i can do for this bold it out and click on apply click on ok so now you can see the number are coming out to be correct like that we have created in a previous sheet right so just it needs little formatting so what i can do is i can just uh, go here and as if now like for the uh, one more thing i can do is i can just go to total year to date sales and just click on the format default properties number format and we can just go to currency custom and i can just give it to the zero place decimal place and display unit i can just give it as a, a thousand suppose and click on ok perfect so like it should not be rupee sign it should be dollar sign because this is the us store data so what i can do is i can just go again back to format and just change the currency to dollar here okay perfect and for the same thing percentage change <coughs> i can just go to format and change it to number custom percentage one place decimal 
and I can just give the same format that I showed you plus 0.0% and command C minus 0.0% perfect and what I can do is I can just give little bit space here and click on apply click on ok perfect so what I can do is I can just duplicate this two sheet and I can just do same thing like a line uh, area graph or same thing what I can do is I can just you know, do it as a bar graph if I want to do right and I can just give it the manual size and I can just increase the width according to the need perfect and I can just uh, remove the header from all the sheets and we can also remove the headline uh, grid line none same thing we can do for this format and go to grid line and do it as a none and grid line format and as a none perfect so now let us just move on to our dashboard screen so i will just put all the three kpis that we have built in this particular video so fix size uh, as if now just give it the 600 by 600 and what i can do is i can just add my vertical container first i can give the inner padding as 20 then i can add the blank object so what it will do is you can see the inner padding i have done 20 that's why it is showing some spaces so once that is done what i want is i want to give kpi side by side so what i can do is i can just use my horizontal container first inside it so just drag the horizontal container and what i have done so so i can just add the kpi this is my first kpi this is my second kpi and this is my third kpi right and i can just increase the custom size to be 800 suppose command z not for the height for the width i want to give it the 800 perfect and now what i can do is uh, i can just add the parameter selected date perfect and i can just add it inside it and what i can do is i can just add the dashboard title to it and that will just <coughs> drag back command a and i can just give a title as 18 and i can just give it the tab to semi bold and i can just give it the bold color and the same color i can give it the same color as the kpi one and i can just remove this site <coughs> what i can do is i can just give it the bold black color and click on ok perfect so if i can also remove this extra lines show header and show header and then promote little bit text here so i can just add like my name professor channel name professor analytics and what we can write here is i can just write tab to calculations made easy and command a and give it the format uh, in between and i can just give it as a color click on ok and just drag it down so as if now like i am not using like perfect color here so this is just for demonstration purposes that's why i've given use like a certain color you can use uh, the color that is suitable for the dashboard that you are designing so i just wanted to show like the calculations that you're building so in this particular case like the map is not or like the bar is not coming out of fine so we can just reduce the size and we can just go to dashboard or what we can do is i can just go back again and size i can just give it as zero only dashboard perfect so now it is looking correct now it is looking nice right so what we can do is we can just do a little bit more formatting in our tool tape and all so i hope you learned something from this and if so do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends if possible so see you soon in the next video bye bye